chief, get to the point, answer. Are you abusing your wife? Yes or no? Members of parliament have come under fire for using gender-based violence to score political points in parliament. ANC MP Boy Mamabolo started the furore in parliament by claiming that the leader of the opposition, Julius Malema, abused his wife. Malema in return accused President Sil Ramaphosa of abusing his late wife. President Ramaphosa apologized to Malema and his wife. Malema also followed suit and expressed regret. Whilst Mamabolo apologized to Malema and his wife via Facebook post, the DA now wants Mamabolo to be charged. The GBV, I don't blame Mr. Malema um, on his own. I certainly think that the frac car was started by the uh, behavior of Mr. Uh, Mamabolo in Parliament. And uh, you know, I think that his party needs to take action against him. But I think both sides of the House um, really took Parliament to a new low where people's personal lives, the politics of personal destruction, as well as the plot of the trivialization of the, of the plight of the millions of women in South Africa who suffer daily under gender-based violence uh, w w was completely trivialized. The party has resolved to start with a full review of the entire parole system in the country. This follows the public outcry after the murder of eight-year-old Tasni van Veik, who was allegedly killed by a neighbor who was out on parole. So in Parliament we've resolved that we will embark on a full review of the entire parole system in South Africa by submitting parliamentary questions to the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Ronald Lemola. We demand answers on the conditions under which perpetrators are granted parole, government's policy regarding the release and how parolees are monitored once they are released. On a daily basis across South Africa, uh, our, uh, our country is confronted by the devastating news that mothers, daughters and sisters have lost their lives uh, due to the gross negligence in the parole system. The DA has backed Randall Williams to be the candidate for the next Twane mayor following a battle Stevens Mohalapa's resignation. The party believes Randall is an excellent mayoral candidate to continue the DA-led coalition program. According to us, Mr. Randall Williams is an excellent person. He is untainted by anything. No one's charged him. No one's laid a complaint against him. No one has ever raised this matter before. We believe he will serve the people of Chwane well as a mayor, and we look forward to being able to get in there. The DA says members of the public are welcome to make inputs on its draft policy documents as they gear up for the party's policy conference on the 4th and the 5th of April. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.